libraries are a lot like Mozart. You've heard of them, but you don't really know much about them. Seriously, without Googling it, tell me how many of Mozart's kids survived infancy. Or what was his wife's name? Or name three pieces he composed. Exactly, he wrote more than 600 works and most people can't even think of three. If you did, way to go. Similarly, IRAs are things you hear about all the time, but when asked something like, what is the income eligibility for opening a Roth IRA, you're going to be lost without consulting the internet. So let's fix it. Here are five key details you need to know about individual retirement accounts. One, types. There are two types of IRAs, Roth and traditional. The identifying difference between the two is when you are taxed. With a Roth IRA, you contribute your after-tax dollars, which means your withdrawals at retirement are tax-free. On the other hand, traditional IRAs are tax-deferred, which means you are taxed when you withdraw, not before. This means a Roth IRA is nice if you anticipate a higher tax rate at the time of retirement, and a traditional is nice if your objective is to increase your tax-deferred contributions. If it helps, our friend Mozart would have, had be would have benefited from a traditional IRA himself, because the tax rate that would exist had he made it to retirement age was much lower than the high rates he endured in the late 1780s. Number two, eligibility. The traditional IRA used to require that you be under 70 and a half to contribute, but 2020 dropped that, meaning the only requirement for a traditional IRA is that you have an earned income. Meanwhile, what matters most if you want to get into the Roth IRA club is that you make less than $122,000 if you're single and $193,000 if married filing jointly. Therefore, each of Mozart's school-aged children, Franz Xavier and Carl Thomas, would have been eligible for a Roth IRA even without their own incomes. And Mozart's wife, Constance, could have had a traditional IRA, which has rules about turning certain ages we'll talk about in number four. But anyway, on to number three. Three, contributions. For both types of accounts, there may be a minimum open account, but there is no minimum for the following contributions. There are, however, maximums. As of 2020, there are up to $6,000 per year per person, which goes up to $7,000 a year if you are 50 or older. This is higher than the 2018 rate. You may be wondering, what if I really want to ramp up my saving and I open up multiple accounts? You can have multiple accounts, but it won't actually ramp your savings because remember, the contribution limit is per person, not per account. So Mozart could have had both a traditional and a Roth IRA for himself, but between the two could only contribute a total of six grand. However, he could make, a contribution, he could make contributions to the custodial accounts he opened for his sons up to $6,000 each. Plus, his wife's traditional IRA would make it possible that the Mozarts could legally be contributing $24,000 annually in IRAs alone. Number four, withdrawals. The rules for withdrawal from a Roth IRA are different from that of a traditional account. In a Roth, you can withdraw early, timely, or never. Because you already paid tax on your contributions, you can withdraw them at any time, given that the account is older than five years. Or you don't have to withdraw at all, and all of that is penalty free. However, your earnings cannot be withdrawn before age 59 and a half without penalty except for qualifying reasons. So the Mozart, Mozarts technically could withdraw from their contributions from their Roth IRA to mortgage a new house, but would have to leave the earnings untouched unless used for a qualifying reason. Same goes for all amounts in a traditional IRA. You may only withdraw early, penalty free, for approved reasons. One example given by the IRS is using IRA funds to pay your medical insurance premium after a job loss. Otherwise, early withdrawal from an IRA prior to age 59 and a half is generally subject to being included in gross income plus a 10% additional tax penalty. So with a traditional IRA, you may not withdraw early, but eventually you must withdraw. The government wants to collect tax, so there is a calculated amount you must withdraw each year after you reach 72. That is, as of 2020, it used to be 70 and a half. But this required amount is called the required minimum distribution. So to withdraw from Constance's traditional IRA, the Mozarts could use it to cover insurance for her poor health, and later she would be required to withdraw annually after she reached the age of 72. Five. IRAs earn more when you are subscribed to the Perry Penny. 
Science has not yet shown that subscribing to the Perry Penny actually increases earnings in both traditional and Roth IRAs. Other unwritten reports say that liking and commenting boosts contribution potential by 203%. Now please enjoy Mozart's Serenade number 13.